morning everyone this is day two of my 12 days of carry series if you didn't see day one go back and watch it and then come back here so you know what's going on but i'm basically filming 12 videos in a row showing you how i carry a gun on my body for 12 days straight <laughs> might have noticed in the picture I'm engaged Mac asked me last night during Christmas dinner with my whole family there it was really sweet and really romantic and I'm just so excited I still kind of can't believe it it's so pretty <laughs> but I'm so excited so today I'm gonna be going to visit one of my best friends and my cousin she's the same person it's she's my cousin and also one of my best friends um, but she's got a one-year-old so I've got some gifts to give them so I'm gonna go see her I'm really excited so let me show you how I'm carrying today for day two of my 12 days of carry remember to comment below so that you can enter to win a palm pepper spray I'm giving one away every day all right so let me flip this around okay so here's my outfit today I'm going pretty casual with just this flowy sweater it's an off-the-shoulder sweater, so I've got a little bralette underneath and a pair of ripped-up jeans and some boots. So what I wanted to carry in today in this outfit is my Dean Adams corset. I'll take this out so I can show you. It goes from here to about here on my body. And I've got my Neo Mag holding my magazine in the left pocket and my gun in the right. And you can see it holds the gun really deep in there. So you really have to practice your draw with these so that you know how to do it if it comes time to draw under pressure and under stress. So basically you just practice getting your three fingers inside and around the grip. Keep the index finger out, my thumb wraps around the back, and then you draw like that. So it's not super difficult, just takes a bit of practice. But I absolutely love this holster. Um, I could also just wear my shirt like this if I wanted to. That's actually not bad. <laughs> I do like to have my extra magazine in a Neo Mag and not just floating around in the pocket because it can, if it's not in the Neo Mag, it can kind of get a little bit lost in that pocket. There's so much room for it to move back here. So I always just like to have the Neo Mag holding it in there. You don't notice that extra little piece there. It's just so low profile that you don't notice having a Neo Mag, but it's just keeping your magazine in place. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so that's my outfit today, and it's pretty comfortable, pretty casual, so we're gonna go see my cousin. So as I'm filming this now, I have not yet uploaded my video that I filmed yesterday. That's gonna go up at 10 a.m. So once you guys comment and everything today, um, I'll be able to pick a winner for the Palm Pepper Spray from yesterday's video. So I'll announce the winner at the end of this video in my outro once you guys comment and I pick a winner. So make sure that you comment today, leave a comment below so that you can enter to win a Palm Pepper Spray that I'll announce in tomorrow's video. All right guys, I'm stopped to get gas now. I'm kind of on E. So just a couple tips when you're at the gas station. Always be aware of your surroundings, number one, especially when you're out of your vehicle. Look around because anyone can just pull up and you want to be aware of who's around you. So just pay attention at all times. Don't be looking at your phone and stuff. Uh, number two, what I like to do is when I get out of my car to pump my gas, I make sure to lock all my doors because because I have like a, my bags and stuff right here and someone could easily just open that door while I'm pumping gas and not paying attention and take my stuff. So always lock your doors when you're out of your vehicle, but have your keys accessible to you. All right, so I'm done now. I just wanted to show you guys how my gun sits when I'm actually in the car. So let me put my seatbelt on real quick and I will show you. I actually ordered one of those car mounts so I can have my camera in here, um, but it has not come yet. So, okay. So my gun, when I've got my seatbelt on, is right here. If I had to draw it, how can I? So if I had to draw it, I have to lift up my sweater and draw it from there. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm at the gas station, but it's pretty accessible. People ask me all the time about those mounts you get in the car, whether it's like a magnet or a special holster or something. I prefer to have my gun directly on my body because if I get into a car accident, where's that gun going to go? It might go flying in my car. So I prefer to have my gun directly on my body and just make sure that you can get to it if you need to. 
in the holster I'm using right now, I can get to it pretty easily. Um, just because it's, it's right here. Okay, let's get going. I've got a bit of a drive ahead of me, so I wanna find a podcast. Um, if any of you have podcasts that you love, um, let me know in the comments. One of my favorites is Joe Rogan and I haven't listened to him in a while. If you don't listen to Joe Rogan's podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, you should. It's amazing. I think he's on Spotify now. Maybe that's why I can't find it. I just love how he interviews like all sorts of different people on different types of topics. So no matter what you're interested in, you can probably find something that you like. Um, I especially like his podcast where he interviews like astronauts or um, like Neil deGrasse Tyson and anything that has to do with space. I just love it. But he just interviews so many interesting people. So I'm going to put on some Joe Rogan because I've got a bit of a drive today. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, I found one. Um, Joe Rogan interviewed Terry Vert, Terry Vert on December 11th. And he's a retired astronaut. So that's what I'll be listening to for sure. Okay, guys, I'm home right now. I just wanted to show you what the corset holster looks like when it's not on me. So... This is the side that I carry my gun on, right here. And you can see it's a little dark because of the gun getting it a little dirty, but there's actually a trigger guard on the inside that I've sewn into this pocket. So when I put the gun in, there's a hard piece of Kydex here protecting the trigger. And the other side is where I keep my extra magazine. So these actually came with a little Velcro strap here that I cut off because I just don't feel like it's necessary for holding the gun in and again it gets in the way of my draw. So I cut it off of both sides actually. Uh, and I was, you know, I went to my friend's house and I was crawling around with her baby and my gun didn't move at all. So I don't like those little velcro straps. If you like them you can keep them but you do have to move it out of your way sometimes when you go to draw because mine used to get stuck sometimes so I just cut it off. But here's the whole corset holster. They're really soft and comfortable. That's one reason why I really like these. I am home now. I've changed into my comfortable home clothes. I'm not carrying my gun anymore. Uh, my aunt actually has a cafe and she came over yesterday for Christmas and brought my favorite cheesecake bonbons. You guys, these are amazing. So I'm gonna eat this little snack and then I'm gonna pick a winner from yesterday's video comments for the pepper spray. So I'll let you know who won and I'll do my little outro and that'll be it. So I'll see you in a second after I eat this yummy little morsel. You guys keeping your trees up past Christmas? I know some people like to get rid of their tree like immediately, but I wish we could keep this up all year. It just makes me so happy. So I'm using a random number generator to go through your comments and pick one for a winner. So from yesterday's video, the winner of the palm pepper spray is Rebecca P. Congratulations, Rebecca. I'll contact you so that you can claim your pepper spray. Congratulations. Everyone, you can leave a comment in today's video to be entered to win another palm pepper spray, which I'll be announcing in tomorrow's video. I've got 12 of them total, so please keep watching these videos if you find them interesting. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas if you celebrated yesterday. Mine was amazing. I'm so excited to be marrying Mac. He's the best thing that's ever happened to me, and I just feel so blessed. So I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye.